Interview with Barry Garari, tape number seven. Um, after so many years, did you did you ever return to Poland or Germany after the war? During my years at ITT, I had to do some travel, some of it to Germany. I never returned to Berlin. Uh, I went, I, I don't remember anymore where I went, I think München, possibly, possibly Frankfurt. And uh, I just got out of there as soon as I could. In general, I've also been in France, uh, in Belgium. I have no love for Europe. And have you ever been back to Russia at all? No. In principle, if I'm a native of Russia, who had the citizenship in Russia at one time, and I'm, a, and I'm a, a naturalized citizen of the United States, I also have dual citizenship. I trust the Russians with everything, <laughs> except my return ticket. <laughs> Maybe I'm being pessimistic about it, but anyway. I had no particular need to. And this is purely a personal emotional reaction. It is not necessarily a rational reaction. Uh, I do not feel that uh, everybody should feel that way about uh, those countries. But for me, that's how I feel. You had mentioned back in the interview, earlier in the interview, that your parents had gone to Palestine in the yes. um, 1935 in the roughly. 30s. What was your reaction to the establishment of the State of Israel? Well, my reaction was one of joy, hope, and foreboding. Uh, that doesn't represent necessarily the point of view of the movement of the Chabad movement. Uh, joy, obviously. Hope, obvious. obvious. Foreboding, because uh, I have uh, then had my doubts and I still have my concerns about uh, the future of Israel in the part of the world in which it is situated. Uh, when a country is completely surrounded by enemies, enemies who are in a change. Uh, the future is very cloudy. I hope for the best. Now that it's 50 years, six, almost 60 years, uh, after the war, um, and you went through a lot of different changes in your life. Is there a message that you would like to leave for your children and for posterity? Well, I suppose one can make various, one can make up various kinds of messages. I'll make one up that would fit Wall Street. Always make sure that you have adequate means, or that you can get adequate means, because those will help you out. Try to forecast a little bit the political situation so that you don't find yourself in the worst case, in the worst place in the world. And make sure you have many friends, real friends. Those will stand by you even in, even in troubled periods. But one also has to think about the other side. When you see a despot, when you see an aggressive uh, state like Germany, make sure you stop them early enough and finally, so that there's no question whatsoever about what the outcome will be. I, I applaud, for example, 
the war we fought in the Middle East, I mean America, to bloody the nose of the tyrants. We should have perhaps cut off a few more heads. But that kind of an approach is the right one sometimes, even though I don't like wars. Is there anything we haven't talked about that you'd like to add? Nothing I can think of except that my wife is doing and now. Uh, Thank you very much. My pleasure. Could you introduce your wife, please? Indeed, it's my pleasure. This is the young lady who introduced me to America, as I already mentioned to you. She's the daughter of Beryl Haskind, who was my father's roommate at the yeshiva in the Babich. And interestingly enough, she has decided to be my life mate. See, I pursued you until you decided to pursue me. Okay. And Mina, I know you were born in Russia. Um, yeah. When did you come to this country? I came here in May of 1939. And how did you we get here? We left Russia in, nine, in early in the 30s, and we spent four years in Palestine. And then we came here. And how do you feel about your husband doing this interview? What do you mean? Well, what do you think, you know, what are your thoughts about him doing this interview? Oh, I think it should be recorded for posterity, especially for our children. I would like them to see it because they don't know very much and they don't have any connection with the, what happened with the events that happened before. That's about it. Is there anything either of you would like to add? I beg your Is there anything either of you would like to add? No, I don't know what he said, <laughs> but I'm sure it's all 100% correct. Well, <laughs> I don't know what I can add. Mina has brought up two very lovely daughters. I'm very grateful to her for that. And she has done a lot of other things for me in life, for which I'm very, many, very mm -hmm. grateful. Thank Our you. best friend. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. Uh, our families were very close. Uh, every holiday, every Passover, every Russia, Kippur, we lived across the street from 770 at 763 Eastern Parkway. We used to spend in their house, in the grandfather's house. You know, there was uh, the men were in one room, the women in the other, and that's how I learned to do dishes. Grandmother was you know, quite a lady, but she knew how to supervise. And yeah, we would have 20, 25 people, and if there was nobody there, we had to do the dishes. I'm fantastic dishwasher. <laughs> you think it's a joke? That's true. Uh, besides, I learned a great deal from her. She said the most beautiful table. She was a lady. And she liked beautiful things, and so did my mother-in-law. Over the years, I learned. I spent more time in their house than in my own house. And that's how. Yeah. Thank you both. This is a portrait of my mother, Hanna Gurari, born Schneerson, in her later years. Could you describe this, please? This is a picture of my grandmother with her three daughters. From left to right, they are Musia, who is the middle daughter, Sonia, who is the youngest, of my grandmother, and then my mother, Hannah. Now, this picture was taken probably in the early 1900s, like uh, maybe 1912, 1915, somewhere in that area. And it was taken in Germany, apparently. And could you state your grandmother's name, please? My grandmother is Nechama Dina Schneerson. And this picture? This is a picture of my great-grandmother, uh, Sterne Sora Schneerson and her great-grandson, namely myself. 
I, I was probably about uh, six, seven years old in that picture. So we're talking about something that was done at the very end of the 1920s. This picture and this picture. This is a picture of yours truly, Barry Gurari, and two partners. Well, almost partners. They are really panther or panther or tiger cubs. One is sitting on my lap, the other one lying at my feet, courtesy of the Berlin Zoo. And the reason I got this particular picture was that my uncle, Mental Schneerson, used to take me to the zoo. And he used to entertain me in various ways. This was one of them. And approximately when was this? This was about 1931, 1932. And this picture? This picture shows my, great, my grandfather, the Lebavitcher Rebbe, Admur Yisif Yitzchok Schneerson on the left, and my father, Horab Shmaryo Gurari, on the right. It was taken probably in the very early 1930s, probably soon after they returned from the U.S., maybe even during the trip. And this? This is a picture of my youngest aunt on mother's side. She is Sonia, Sonia Hornstein, but at the time she wasn't married yet, so she was still Sonia Schneerson. It was taken probably 1930s, very early 1930s, before her wedding. And this picture? This is a picture of the Hornstein clan. Unfortunately, all of them perished in Poland. From a seated from the left to the right. I'm uncertain about the identity of the first person. The next one is Musia Chaya Muska or Musia Hornstein. She was the daughter of the Rebbe, the Maharaj. And her husband comes next, Meisha Hornstein. Then is Shmuel Hornstein. Standing is first from the left. Uh, Pinchos Landa, Bronca, Hornstein, Menachem Mendel Hornstein, and Sarah Lees. Uh, the young man, the second one, f the third one from the right standing, Menachem Mendel Hornstein, is my uncle. He married my aunt Sonia. Unfortunately, none of them survived the Shoah. And approximately when and where was this? By the looks of things, uh, this must have been taken probably in the late 20s, maybe very early 30s. This is the picture of my grandfather, Admur Yesef Yitzchok Schneerson, Zichrona Livracha. Admur meaning our master, our teacher, the rabbi Yosef Yitzchok Schneerson. He was the former Lubavitcher Rebbe. This picture was taken by myself with the camera which grandfather gave me as a gift. And it was taken at 770 Eastern Parkway, 
in the, during the 19 during the very early 1940s probably around 1942 or thereabouts now soon following this will be another picture taken at essentially the same sitting This is the second picture in the same series. I've taken it about the same, taken at the same setting, essentially, with the previous one. And it shows grandfather in a somewhat more somber mood. This is a picture of my grandfather getting his citizenship papers. The person seated is obviously my grandfather, Admor Yesef Yitzchok Schneerson. Standing from the left is the lawyer, Sam Kramer, who was an old friend of the, of the Schneerson family a gentleman who is a judge who came to this especially to grandfather's study because grandfather couldn't physically move to the go to the court. Rabbi Khadakov, one of the functionaries. My uncle, Schne uh, Mendel Schneerson, and Nissan Mindel. And approximately when was this? Well, my grandfather got his papers in 1945 or so. Okay. This? this is a picture of my wife, Mina Haskin Gurari, and uh, on the left and her father, Beryl Haskin, on the right. Probably, in fact, on the day of the wedding, it seems, judging by the dress, which would put it into May of 1953. Shows my father, Rabbi Shmariohu Gorari, or Rabbi Samarius Gurari, if you prefer the English name. He's shown at his office in the yeshiva. And this uh, picture was taken in the early 1980s. This is a picture, a wedding picture, taken at the wedding of my younger daughter. Seated in front are mother, Hannah Gorari, and next to her on the right, Mina, my wife. And standing on the left is the bride, Nora Sterna Gorari, then, who then at that point became Friedman, and her husband, uh, Yeshua Heschel Friedman, also known as Dr. Samuel Friedman. Then I stand next to him, and I'm, be, I'm Barry Gorari, just in case you've forgotten. And last on the right is now Sonia Gorari, my elder daughter. This is a picture of my granddaughters of my granddaughters. The first one on the left is uh, yeah. Miri. The baby is Nava, and the one on the right is Hannah. 
picture was taken about two years ago that would put it in 1995. 